I'm an acute care nurse practitioner currently working at Prince George's Hospital Center in Chevrolet, Maryland. I am the nurse practitioner for the cardiac cath lab and in that current position I am responsible for assessing and evaluating patients prior to their procedures. I am responsible for ordering the care that they need or, or medications that they may need prior to the procedure as well as after the procedure. Um, and ensuring that they have a safe transition from my level of care to whether it's to the unit or to home. I currently have a Bachelor's of Science degree from Hampton University, Hampton, Virginia, and my Master's of Science degree from the University of Maryland, Baltimore. I decided to pursue my Doctorate of Nursing Practice degree. I didn't feel that I was growing or gaining the knowledge that I needed to move to the next level. I have been in my position currently now for almost nine years and I needed a change, I needed to grow and after looking long and hard at the doctor of nursing practice I decided that it was right for me. The capstone project is a scholarly project that we have to complete at the end of our program. We utilize the, the skill and the education to do a scholarly project. My capstone currently will be on leadership. When I first came back to the school, I thought that my project was going to be on congestive heart failure. I was selected as a Jonas Scholar and as a Jonas Scholar, we were required to work with the Maryland Action Coalition and do a leadership project. I chose my leadership project to work with the Institute of Medicine's recommendation number seven, which deals with leadership and nurses on boards. And through that work and some of the work that they had already done, I looked at leadership in a hospital-based nurse practitioner and decided that that was something more that I wanted to explore. And so I will be looking at leadership in a hospital-based nurse practitioner and trying to make some recommendations of how to facilitate that. The capstone is different from the PhD dissertation in that the dissertation is actual research. And the capstone is looking at research or evidence that is already out there and applying it to problems and looking for either solutions, recommendations, or information from the research that is already out there. The knowledge that I gained from the DMP is actually in use as we speak. I am currently utilizing those skills in some of my committee work at my current job. I am active in the Research and Evidence-Based Council. So I've taken some of the skills from some of the courses I've already used and made some suggestions and recommendations for problems and some solutions. Um, and moving forward, the skills that I gain, I hope to be able to apply by taking on leadership initiatives as a leader in the clinical area and continue to grow and make a difference. I would highly recommend the DMP program to other nurses. I didn't quite understand what I was really getting into when I first started, but since being here I have grown. I have taken on certain roles that I don't think I would have done prior to starting the program. I heard a quote that said, you know when you're growing when you are out of your comfort zone. As a DMP, you are actually thrust out of your comfort zone and thought to think higher and at different levels. And that's what being a DMP is, is being a leader at the bedside and stepping out of your comfort zone to make a difference.